Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome back to the One Love Fetter Challenge of, uh, what did I call this game before? That, uh, Justin got upset with me about. Um, Tales of Mahjong. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to Tales of Mahjong. It's Tales of Mahjong, but I think Mahjong makes, yeah, yeah. Hey man, a Mahjong RPG? Oh, it exists. It totally exists. Wait, we played one! Wasn't, wasn't that Evangelion game on the PlayStation? Wasn't that a Mahjong? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't, actually, it wasn't just Evangelion. It was Evangelion and, yeah, Gynax characters. And it was like, yeah, we, we never finished it. What's the fucking Mahjong? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I forgot how I beat all the Mahjong, all the times I did Mahjong, like the... Mahjong completion in all the Yakuza games. I think I cheated. Yeah, I think I cheated. <laughs> uh, I didn't really play a lot of it. I just played enough to finish it. Alright, well, we're back here. We're going to play as Tyrion Lannister. I think we made this decision last time. Um, We're playing on Nightmare. Which you so fucking going to die, I know. So I was thinking about Tyrion, right? Of course he's a dwarf. That makes, makes sense. But, um... Shouldn't he actually be a halfling? No. What's the difference between a halfling and a dwarf? Dude, did you, are you reading the description of dwarves? Dwarves are a secret of people hailing from the underground home of the Iron Throne. They are a sturdy race and they are known for the masterwork. Yada, yada, yada. You know that all dwarves are united under the empire and love and their love of money. Interesting. The halflings are a race of very short stature, rarely exceeding four feet in height. They're just like humans in that they can do anything that they can set the most to. Sure, halfling is not a better actual option. What's the difference? Dwarves have a beard. They are very similar, aren't they? Yeah. What's what's the what's the main difference? Uh, well, halflings have uh, minus three strength, plus three dexterity, some luck. Dwarves have extra strength, less dexterity, no magic or less magic. So I'm thinking about what I want Tyrion to be. Yeah, I think we picked Bulwark last time, but he should be he shouldn't be a fighter. He should be. Like a sneaky, sneaky person. I wonder who these people are. Like, he's not... He's not a magic user. He's a smart guy, though. I mean, generally, magic users are the smart guys, but... Rogue seems kind of suitable. Fleet of foot, see, mm. Master of tricks can get behind you, stab you in the back. I mean, yeah. But I kind of just want to be a bulwark. Alright. I mean, hey, Tyrion has proved himself to be an amplifier many a time. There was that time he held a shield. There was that time he had an axe. And he, he's killed a few people with axes, actually. Fine. Fine. Alright, we'll be the more work. Alright. Let's play. Oh, wait. What? There's already a character with his name. Oh, hang on. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's, let's just override it. Because <laughs> I found out uh, the hard way that if I'm in the main menu and then I go into a game, the, the recording just stops. Because it changes resolution or something. And every time my computer changes re resolution... The freaking recording thing just kills itself. Alright. Oh, I remember... St yeah, this is where we stopped last time because there's so many. Okay, generic talent points. Just take your time, alright? This is one life only challenge. Just don't fuck up, alright? <clears throat> Stat points. This could be an entire episode just doing this. Stat points allow you to increase your core stats. Are these my core stats? I guess so. 
We've got class points. We've got category points. Generic points. Okay, so I've got three stat points. Okay, so I've got 19 strength. I don't know what the bracket is. Oh, I see. My base value is 15. For some reason, I've got slightly more than normal. Oh, is it because uh, dwarves have the extra strength? And they've got the less... What is this? Dexterity? And they've got... Constitution... Magic. Well, we're not going to do magic, are we? No. Willpower. Okay, let's see what these all do. Okay, so... Yeah, physical damage. Carrying capacity. Resist physical effects. Okay. Dexterity. Agile alert. Chance to hit. Ability to avoid. Damage with light or ranged attacks. Uh, we're standard resist damage. Okay. Magic. No one gives a shit. Willpower. Concentrate. It increases your mana, stamina, and psi capability. Uh, I don't think that's going to be useful. Well, I mean, if we're going to be Tyrion Lannister, he should be kind of will willful. and uh, Well, that's magic. It's not actually intelligence. A cunning. Cunning. There you go. Cunning defines your character's ability to learn, think, and react. Allows you to learn many worldly abilities and increases your mental capacity and chances of critical hits. So that, that seems like, I mean, if we're going to roleplay as Tyrion, which is stupid, by the way, doing a wildlife fighting challenge, but, you know, what, is that a spider? It is. Is that inside or outside? I don't know. We're going to pretend it's outside and then move on. Yeah, it's... Oh, God, it's moving. Hang on, it's moving. Is that... Are you inside or outside? I cannot tell. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be an episode. Because I can't move. I'm all, I'm all strapped in here with the recording stuff. I'm just waiting to see if it'll cross the threshold of where the door, where the actual door is. What it's actually doing is it's walking out of sight, which is the worst thing that it could possibly do. Please don't walk out of sight. Come on, Spider. It's a small one, at least. Come on, Spider, I can't see you. No, don't do this to me. All right, fuck it. I'm just going to ignore it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. Try to ignore it. It's, it's, it's probably outside. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure. It's, it's just... Yeah. All right. Anyway... Right, so I think, yeah, we should, uh, we should tear it up and give him some cutting points. One, two, three. Oh, we can get cutting skills now. Oh, can I do that? Yes, you can. Interesting. Well, let's, let's put it into cutting for now. We'll, we'll talk about that later. <clears throat> can you see that spider? That's no, completely out of you. Awesome. God, I hope it's outside. Uh, Alright, class points. <clears throat> Learn class talents and improve them. A core to your class and cannot be learned by training. Each point you gain, each level you gain one class point to use. Each five levels you gain one more. Okay, so we got Shield Pummel. Now, do you remember how to play this game? Okay, those first two episodes we did, I did, what, a couple of weeks ago? So, I don't actually remember. Fantastic. Lovely. Maybe I should have recorded this a little bit earlier. Yeah, maybe I should have. This talent was recently learned. You can still unlearn it. Oh. Yep. <laughs> really? Yeah, you can unlearn all your skills. Let's see what they are first. Yeah. Uh, what does this do? The last four class talents you learned are always unlearnable. Okay. So, instantaneous hits the target with two shield strikes doing 100 and whatever damage. If it hits the second time, it stuns for two turns. Interesting. What's this? Repost. 
We put your ability to pour cash tracks on the blocks the following ways. You have to have uh, 20 strength and you have to be level 40. Shield slam. Hit your target with shield three times for 66% damage and quickly return to a blocking position. That seems useful. Assault. It's the target with your shield, doing 105% damage. Okay, well, probably not going to get that much uh, strength. So I could get this if I was level 4 and got like a little bit of extra strength. Guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. It says passive. Oh, really? Wait, what does it do? It improves your ability to perform cast strikes. Okay, just it's just automatic. Oh, cool. Okay, shield wall. What does it do? Enter protective stance, decreasing defense by two, armor by two, block value by whatever. Defense, okay, that seems useful. Yeah. And, uh, what's this? Repulsion. Smash the shield into the face of, an, of all adjacent foes, dealing a bunch of damage and knocking them back three. Ooh, that seems really good. In addition, all creatures knocked back will also be dazed for five turns. Dude, this is amazing! Uh, if, if known, activating this talent will refresh your rush cooldown if attack is hit. That's great. I want that when we get to level four. Uh, shield expertise. Improves your damage and defense with shield-based weapons. Are all of these based on strength? They are. Shit. So unless you, unless you improve your strength, you're not going to get any of these fucking skills. Wonderful. Alright. Alright, well, let's not worry. Let's not worry about these, like, really late, late, late game ones, because we're not going to... We're going to get to level 4 before we can even start thinking about these other ones. What's this one? Rush. Instantaneous. Rush towards a target spot with incredible speed. If the target is reached and occupied, you'll perform a free melee attack against the target there. This attack does 120% damage and can daze the target for 3 turns of hits. You must rush from at least 2 tiles away. At least. Range is 6. Interesting. Precise strikes, melee personal, wait, sustained, what does that mean? You, f you focus your strikes, reducing your attack, okay, what else have we got here? Quick recovery, your combat focus, your line of recovery, that seems kind of useful. And fast metabolism, ooh, that seems really useful. <clears throat> what about what are these? Oh god, there's more. Wait, there's more. What are all these? Oh, two-handed weapons. Um, archer trainer. Maybe I can't do them. Maybe maybe these are for different like what um Yeah, I don't I don't think you can do these ones. They're they're locked off for uh, um like other classes or whatever. You reckon that's what it is? Yeah. Whatever whatever it is, I can't use it now. Alright, so we've got two points. Well actually I technically I've got four. Yeah, right. So Shield Pummel does a bunch of damage and can stun them. Shield War is going to give you protection. Rush is going to give you a little rush down attack, which actually isn't quite as good as Shield Pummel. True. Hold on. Uh, when we come back, I'll uh, fix this up. Right. Until then, my name is Leo, and I'll see you next time. Bye.